We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane T-Marts, we'll look after you. Round 13 action, South Melbourne travelling to John Kane Reserve to take on Northcote City. It's been a pretty spicy clash in recent times, Tim, and a game that's seen some pretty close finishes with these two sides. That's right, David. Lovely sunny day out here in Northcote. It's been a great week for South Melbourne so far. They picked up the three points against Dandenong Thunder on Tuesday, and they'll be looking to round out a great week with a win here today. And the South fans always travel in good numbers out here to Northcote. They'd love to see the boys claim three points here today. Chance now on the wide side there for Ramsey. Ramsey's got a bit of room and he might try to go around Norton. Plays it across. Marla's header doesn't entirely deal with it. And a chance perhaps now there. Oh, the shot's a bit disappointing in the end from Bunas. He had a lot of space there on the right foot but couldn't get any real power. Norton now finds a bit of room on the left. Brad Norton goes round Ramsey. Goes round a second marker as well. Puts that ball across looking for Lujic. Luyic hits the side netting there. A good cross by Brad Norton deep. Luyic just not enough space to finish. A magnificent run for Brad Norton. Typical of him. Milos Luyic just too tight of an angle. He went close there. That's an early warning sign for Northcote. That ball played long and cut straight off. Eliopoulos puts that one up there. Ramsey's going to claim it from Gasparis. Ramsey goes on a bit of a run. Shot with the left foot. Loses his balance in the end there. Still managed to get it on target, but straight at Raganovic. Norton again, he's been lively early. Jawadi, a very good game midweek. Now Epifano, always dangerous. Brennan, in great form. Andy Brennan with the shot on the right foot. Thunders past the post and thumps into the fence behind the goals. Levanovic enjoying his start back in the team. Epifano's little touch. Loves staying close to the touchline, Brennan. The cross played in, looking for Milos Lujic. It opens up chance for Theodore. There's one nil South Melbourne. It was the Brennan to Lujic connection that started it, but this time it was the little man, Matthew Theodore, finds the back of the net. Lujic with some nice strength there in the build-up. South Melbourne deserved the one nil lead. Matthew Theodore with his first league goal for the season. That's great for him. We see Brennan, it's the cross into Lujic that's been so prolific for South so far this season. And Matthew Theodore runs onto it. He doesn't miss from there. That's a nice, neat finish. And he points to the crowd, wheels away in delight. We see here, Brennan, it's a wonderful ball. Just got tangled up there. He looked like he was going to shoot again, but he left it for Theodore, who put it into the back of the net. And that's a great start for Chris Taylor's side. 1-0 South Melbourne. Important to take that early lead. Matthew Theodore, classy finisher in those types of situations. Now Northcote on the right-hand side. They'd love to... Hit back quickly, Bonas plays it in Gasparis, Gasparis, his cross deflected, Cunavellas across the face, off the post and cleared eventually there by Michael Eager. Well that was almost something from nothing there Tim. Well I can't believe that, that would have been a great goal had it gone in. We see there off the outside of the boot, oh it's just hit the post, that could have gone anywhere. Still 1-0 South Melbourne. Well Theodoridis pumps this one long, looking for something to open up and uh, not quite dealt with there by Michael Eager. Adams comes in and attempts the clearance, but it's gone out wide to Ramsey. Ramsey puts in the cross, Calipatides, and it's 1-1. A beautiful cross by Ramsey. He's been great in the opening period of this game. And Calipatides, he knows how to score. A very accomplished striker at this level. And North can hit back quickly. Yeah, 1-1, David. It's a great bit of work from Anthony Ramsey. As you said, he's been very impressive in the early stages of this game. We see the cross come in from him. And Kalafatidis unmarked at the near post there, heads it in, gives Roganovic absolutely no chance there. That's a good header. He doesn't miss from there. He's a quality player. And South, we have a game here. Yeah, way too much space left there by the South defence. Roganovic will be disappointed with that one. And throw short and pump long, and now all of a sudden it opens up at the back. A chance now. Cunavellas, oh Cunavellas, a good intervention there by Michael Eager. He was left a lot of space there, Evan Cunavellas. That was a very dangerous moment for the South defence. Milovanovic standing over it. He's been trying these all season. Milovanovic, that deflects off the head of one of the men in the wall and into the arms of Theodorides. Not to be that time. And the ball scrambled away eventually by Jawadi, who plays it long. Now Luyic, and he's got Brennan running for him. 
Andy Brennan loves this situation, tries to get round his marker. Good turn of pace, Andy Brennan. An audacious attempt from range there. Theodoridis well enough positioned to block that one. Don't think he expected it to come in like that. Second half has uh, been quiet for the first couple of minutes, but uh, game really in the balance, and it could open up here. Kalafatidis is through Kalafatidis. That is a very disappointing shot with his left foot. Ball played out wide and it could open up again for Northcote. They seem to have gotten on top in the last few minutes of this game. Flicked in, Gasparis opens it up. Great chance, Calafatidis, and from close range it's gone over the bar. I'm not sure if Calafatidis got the last touch. I think it might have been Tim Marler there with the intervention. Huge intervention from Timmy Marler there. How has Tim Marler kept this out? It looked like a goal for all money. Calafatidis, oh, that's, that is tremendous defending from Tim Marler. It looked like a goal. Calafatidis ghosting into the middle there. It looked like it was going to be the home side taking the lead. And Tim Marler just gets his foot in there to prevent Calafatidis. The ball loops over the top for a corner. Well, Northcote, they've had their foot on the pedal for the last few minutes. Free kick played in. Great chance there, Wilkes. And somehow with an open net in front of him, he has put it wide. Way too much space given to him there, and he's missed an easy one, Tim. South are living dangerously here. That should have been 2-1, Wilkes. Wide open goal, wide open header, should have scored. Matthew Theodore, the man who scored the first one, makes his way to the bench. On comes David Sturt and Chris Taylor trying something different up front. Eager. The intervention now, Sturton. Second effort there from Sturton. Now a chance for Epifano. South need to get something going. Epifano with the shot. Was that a handball? A couple of shouts from the crowd that time. Tim, what do you make of that one? Look, the crowd went up straight away, David. I'll, I'll be interested to see a replay. And yeah, that's definitely off the arm. You could make a case it wasn't intentional, but we've seen them paid before, that's for sure. Milovanovic. On the left this time, Jawadi goes around his markers and opens it up. Now South Melbourne pressing forward some numbers. Sturton looks to put a cross in. Sturton's one across the face. Chance for Brennan on the left foot and that one's deflected behind. Andy Brennan couldn't quite get space for that one. A couple of shouts again for handball that time. What did you make of this one, Tim? Look, it could have been handball again, David. Let's have a look. Brennan, he can score from anywhere. He volleys it in and that's definitely come. I think it's come off the chest and then the hand of the defender. We'll have to have another look from a different a different angle. It might tell us a bit more. But uh, Andy Brennan, the big Tasmanian, has a shot. Yeah, there's definitely hand in there. In fairness, probably, Tim, I think the referee might have been blindsided by that one. Couldn't quite see it. Well, that one's cleared for the moment. But Milovanovic via Jawadi is going to send that one back in. Now Brad Norton. Flicks that one over, chance at the back post and the header sails wide. Andy Brennan, now South Melbourne starting to get back on top in this game. Timmy Marler up the line. Brennan, he'd love to find Milos Lich. Oh, he's done well here, Andy Brennan gets through his men. Chance there, Milos Lich, follow up and put away, I think, by Eliopoulos, who got in front there of David Sturton. Somehow this time South Melbourne didn't score. That was almost the winning goal again, David. Brilliant work from Andy Brennan there on the right-hand side. He looks for his old mate Milos Lewic and that's a good save from Theodoridis. Gets his legs together. Good defending there from Northcote, it's got to be said. Well, an amazing moment really when you think about it, Tim. I mean, Milos Lewic, he puts it on target. Reflex save from Theodoridis. Sturton looked like he had the position, but Eliopoulos, just a bit Tim Marler like at the other end, got in somehow. Epifano back to Norton. Back to Epifano, back to Norton. And now he's got Jawadi. If he can see him, Jawadi plays it in for Milos Lujic. And there's 2-1. Milos Lujic again. He scores when he wants. And don't the fans love that one? Get in. South Melbourne 2-1 over Northcote. What a huge moment in this game, potentially in this season, Tim. It's absolutely chaos on the hill over there, David. Milos Lujic against his old side. He always finds a way to score. How did it come about? Iki Jawadi with a good cross in and Lewich in the right place at the right time. Fantastic finish and you see the fans there rushing down. Lewich, oh it's just chaos over there. Well they're loving that one Tim and well they might. This has been a really tight game. Could have gone either way and that like you say right place right time. Credit Iki Jawadi pinpointed that cross without much time and Milos Lewic he doesn't need a second invitation. He sees a space and he picks it perfectly. And with a lot of emotion when you score against your old side, and geez, don't the players love that? Don't the fans love that? There's still a bit of time left here, but that is a huge moment for South.
Northcote, they haven't got much option. They just got to get numbers forward here. And uh, it opens up again. Gasparis flicks over and it's gone wide. In fact, I think it was Cunavellas in the end there. Yes, it was. He'll be disappointed with that. He probably had more time than he thought. Yeah, audacious effort from Cunavala. South have got to be wary of him on the rebound. And this isn't that far away, I don't think. Yeah, Raganovich will be happy to see that one sail wide. Still 2-1 to South Melbourne. And South would love to be able to put this away. There's a very tense last period of this game coming up. And uh, Brennan plays that one across the base. Chance for Milos Lunic. No, good save there. Well handled by Theodorides. That's not the first good reflex save he's made today. Standing over at the goal scorer. Kalafatidis with the shot, and I think that deflected off the wall. And well done, Raganovic, because that was definitely goalward bound. He got down nicely to keep that out. Great save from Raganovic. He's proved his worth this season. There's no doubt about that. Might have been hitting the post, might have been going in, not sure. But Raganovic, it's a great save. Now lining up for the corner this time, and uh, some big options in there. And Kunavellis has uh, thrown himself to the ground there. The corner taken and punched away. And what's the referee paid here? A yellow card for simulation. I must say, on the first instance there, I didn't think there was anything in this. Well, when the ref blew the whistle, I thought it was going to be a penalty, but that's, that's, I'm not sure about that from Cunavalis. And coming off Andy Brennan, some nice work again here today. Lee Monopolis to close things out in this tight game. That ball played long and forward. Still opening up for Northcote at the front. Still opportunities. Calafatidis or Cunavalis. Cunavalis has a look. Goes for the chip. Well, in the end, a disappointing effort. He had a lot of time to look at that Kunavellas and he put that one over the bar. Milos Lijic, the man who scores what might prove to be the winner, comes to the bench. On comes Andy Kachoyevic. And surely now we're deep, deep, deep into injury time. All Raganovic will have to do is pump this one up and away. He does exactly that. And the referee obliges the South Melbourne fans and blows full time on what was a really entertaining, a really tight game here. A really important three points. Milos Lijic again, Tim. He just scores when he wants. Terrific advertisement for football today. Milos Lijic with yet another winner for South Melbourne. Geez, it was a great game. It had a bit of everything. The South fans are happy there on the hill there. A really valuable three points for South Melbourne. This could turn out to be David. This week's Fix Hellas Beer Man of the Match Award goes to the player who teed up the first goal and scored the all-important winner, Milos Lujic. Milzy, another goal for you today, and that was really tough out there in those conditions. So how satisfying was it to score again against Northcote? Yeah, no, it was a really good win out there. Um, you know, we came in uh, half-time 1-1, uh, and uh, the pitch out there made it really, really hard for us. And I thought they had a few chances, and maybe they should have been up, but um, now we grind out the result. As long as we're getting the points out of it, I'm happy and uh, we're still undefeated, you know, 12 games in is it now, and um, it's a team performance at the end of the day, so I'll take it as a team performance. So next game's Oakley, uh, we lost their 3-0 last year, uh, it's going to be a very difficult match. How important is this match uh, to kickstart the second half of the year? Yeah, look, you even saw out there today, it doesn't matter, you know, what they are on the table, um, Against us, it's always a grand final. Um, Northgate played their hearts out today, and I think next week it's going to be the same with Oakley. They've got a point to prove against us, and we've got a point to prove against them away to their ground. We lost 3-0 last year, so we want revenge for that, and uh, it's going to be a really tough game. All right, Eggs, just talk us through that game. It was a very demanding match for you guys on the pitch, and uh, luckily we got away with the three points. Yeah, it was. It was our third game in about eight days, and coming here is uh, very tough. Obviously, last year uh, we just got away with the draw, and this year we had a sub uh, sub performance first half, and then luckily second half we turned it around and got uh, all three points with a great goal uh, to win the game for us. Because of the win today, we are on exactly the same amount of points as we were this time last year. So are you pleased with that, or do you still think there's room for improvement? Yeah, look, um, you know, we, we dropped three games, so of, of course, from our point of view, we go out there to win every one. Um, so, yeah, we, we've still got uh, some areas to improve on. We've uh, I think conceded one more than Bentley, so we want to have the best defensive record. We can probably put teams away a bit more as well. Uh, but it's a good grounding and a good base. We're not getting too far ahead of ourselves. I'm um, happy with what we've achieved so far, but at the end of the day, you don't get any trophies for, for being top at the halfway point. So we'll continue to improve. Uh, we'll work even harder, and uh, we'll do our best to, to come home with a few trophies at the end of the season. I'd also just finally like to thank all the supporters. It's been great the first half of the year, um, but also uh, encourage you all to come along on Friday night. It's going to make a huge, huge difference to have your support and um, push the boys on. We'll hopefully be um, a well-deserved three points in the end.